Welcome back to another practice with me. Today we'll be looking at the Philharmonic Region 20 auditions. This is the first excerpt. This is the Mighty Columbia. Okay, and in this video I'm going to be breaking this excerpt into four different sections. So the first section will be the bump, 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 the first three measures. Okay, it'll be, it'll be quick. And then we have what happens in measure 52 to 55, that's section two. And then we have 56 to 63, our marcato melody. And from 64 to the end, we have our legato melody. Okay, so those are the four different sections we're gonna be working in today. But before we play, I want you to try to find a recording, okay, and listen to it. I'll see if I can find one to link and I'll put it below, okay? So check the description. Okay, now that you've listened to it, let's, tune okay make sure you tune first before you practice this is the first section this will be the first three measures okay we have this run billy run billy rhythm okay and we're going to be staying around the balance point for this nice little bows keep it nice and compact okay don't forget we have f sharps so your first note will be high three on the c string okay I'm gonna play it for you first so you can hear it, okay? And then I'm gonna give you an exercise to play to help you with this rhythm, okay? So here's what it sounds like. Right, so bum, 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 bum. The first eighth notes are always short, so make sure that you're stopping your bow. Nice and short like that. Let's apply this rhythm to something you know really well, a one octave C major scale. So we're gonna start on C and we're gonna play it like this. Ready? One and two, here we go. track of which way your bow is going, think of the impulses as down, up, down, up, down. So keep track of which way your bow is going with the accents, okay? Every accent is a different direction for your bow. Okay, let's try it now fast. This is 100. Still doing a C major scale. Make sure that you're listening for space after the eighth note. We shouldn't hear. We need staccato accented eighth notes, okay? So make sure you hear. Space. Listen for the ringing when you stop the bow. Good. Let's try it at 110, which is the tempo. Very nice. 
Now let's try our excerpt at this tempo. Just the first three measures. One, two, here we go. I distracted myself by trying to talk. Good, did you do better than me? Let's try it again. rhythm with a metronome and check in and make sure that you're using very little bows and that you're stopping the eighth notes so we get a nice articulate driving rhythm. Okay, moving on now. This is section two. This is measures 52 to 55. Here we have a bunch of an interesting rhythm, right, first, but also we have some not so easy string crossings to navigate, right? Let's first look at the rhythm. So on beat one, three, and four, you have accents. And the eighth notes themselves are all short. They should have staccato dots on them. The first ones uh, on the down beats are a little longer, but think, think the same articulation throughout. So we have one and, and three, four and, one and, and three, four and. Can you say that with me? Here we go. One and and three, four, and one, and, and three, four, and. Good, now that's the rhythm. Before we actually go through and play these notes, I wanna practice the string crossings. And to do this, we're gonna, we're gonna warm up our fingers here with a little seesaw exercise. So you're gonna set your bow right where the winding ends on the C string. And your hand is gonna be nice and rounded all of your fingers are nice and curved, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna push with our pinky and straighten out our fingers so that our bow moves from the C string over to the A string, like this. Do you notice how my wrist and my elbow do not move when I do this? One more time. At the winding on the C string, we're gonna push down with our fingers till we get to the A string, okay? And then we're gonna let gravity help us and we're just gonna curve our fingers back down to the C string. Notice my elbow and my wrist did not move. One more time, starting at the C string. We're gonna fight against gravity. And then we're gonna let gravity help us. And that your bow is staying straight as you're doing this. Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. Now we're ready to play just open strings. So we're gonna play the rhythm and where the notes would be, but just on open strings for measures 52 through 55. So this is what it would look like. We have Stop. Stop. Now, let your that seesaw exercise we just did help you when you have to go from A to the C string. Okay. And you wanna make sure that you grab that C in measure 55, right? Let's try it one more time, just open strings. Think now about how your hand can help you navigate these string crossings. Here we go. One, and go, and. Let's try it a little faster now. Just open strings. One, two, here we go. Now 
now let's try it with the notes under tempo. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Make sure that you're not playing through the eighth note rest. Make sure you're stopping your bow. and practice the string crossings and make sure that you are playing note before moving the bow, right? So this is easy to do when we have staccato passages. Stop, set the finger, set the finger, set the finger. So make sure you're always setting left hand before you're moving the bow, okay? Let's go on now to our marcato melody in measure 56. So we need to have a pretty heavy bow for this. Now, marcato is similar to detache, where we're just moving the bow back and forth, but think of it as just being a little bit more uh, deliberate, more deliberate, okay? Let's go through and play these notes slowly. And for this, I'm gonna put my metronome on eighth notes. So it's gonna feel pretty slow. This is actually gonna be like half tempo. Okay, here we go. about how you're using the bow. If you're not careful, when you get to measure 59 and you don't plan ahead, you're gonna run out of bow, okay? So when you're playing in measure 58, remember to get yourself closer to the frog so that at 59, you have the whole bow to use on that, that whole note, okay? Let's try it now, a little bit faster. This is gonna be 70 beats per minute. And this is the quarter note. One and two and here we go. when we need to plan ahead and get closer to the frog. At measure 63, you also need to make sure that you're working your way in 62 closer to the, the tip of the bow so you have all of that bow to use. You have to use a dotted half note on an up bow and then another quarter note up bow, right? Good. Let's play this a little faster now. This is 90.
one now to 64. And I actually include the pickup into 64 as part of this because that actually belongs to the next phrase. So let's always start with the pickup when we're practicing this section. Um, here we have fortissimo legato. Now, don't let the fortissimo think you have to play as loud as humanly possible. Don't, you still wanna have a beautiful singing tone. So don't get too scratchy in your efforts to play loud. That's the first point. Now for this, we do want to try to connect our bows more. So think longer phrases with this one. Don't think beat by beat, but expansive. Think expansive for this section. Let's play this under tempo. So this is 80. And go ahead and take a, take a look ahead of it and see possible spots where you might run into trouble, right? So the one that I notice immediately is the dotted half note in 67. You've got to make sure that you have enough bow on that note. And then the up bow, fourth beat in 67, doesn't sound accented as you try to recover, right? You don't have to recover so much bow. So keep that in mind when we're playing through slowly. So one, two, three, four, one, aware of is saving your bow and being all the way at the tip when you get to the last measure. Let's try it now a little faster. This is 90. One, two, three, four, one, two, go. Uh section singing beautiful melody okay we're ready for our slow run through I'm gonna put my metronome back down to 80 and I'm gonna play the whole thing Thank you. 
Okay, I hope that you found something helpful in this video to help you prepare the mighty Columbia and happy practicing.